questions with FitMeg. This is going to be a weekly segment where you can ask me any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will try and get to them as we go. So weekly I'll answer three of your questions. These three questions are questions that I get asked on probably more than a weekly basis as a personal trainer, fitness teacher, whatever. Um, these are things that, that people are always asking me. So I will answer three questions today, and next week I'll answer another three questions from you guys so please post your questions in the comments below here we go so question number one do I need to detox do you need to detox to lose weight or get fit okay detoxes in my mind are a little um, I think detoxes are a little violent on the body it's it's about you know, taking out a lot and like only having juice or only having vegetables or not eating at all, you know, um, stuff like, you know, fasting and stuff like that. I don't believe you need a detox to start, uh, you know, a new life or get on track or make your body work better. I believe, I mean, I do believe you need a detox, but I believe you can do it slowly. So I don't think you have to take a day or two or a week or whatever it is, take pills, uh, don't eat, only eat juice, whatever your detox idea is. There's many different types of detoxes. I don't believe you need to do it that way. I believe if you clean up your diet, you take out refined carbs, you take out sugars as much as you can, you take all these things out, um, in the long run, your body will detox. You don't need to do it in two days or a week or whatever. You can, you can get healthy now and your body will start detoxing. It'll be a slower process, but I believe that's better for your body. So I believe your body really, it needs a, a slower detox, not a, an extreme. Also, what happens with those extreme detoxes is a lot of the time people will do a detox for a week or three days or four days or seven days, whatever it is. And then as soon as they're done the detox, they haven't had any sugar, or any starch or any fat or any anything, whatever it is they've cut out, and then they go crazy. And that's the worst if you've just detoxed your whole body and given it this whole cleanse out. And then you go and have a Big Mac. This is the worst thing you could possibly do. It's a big shock to your system. You will not feel well. It's not good. So I believe slow and steady wins the race. I don't, I know it's fun. I know it's more a mental thing. I think some, if it's a mental thing, do it for that reason, but know that's why you're doing it. So, um, it can be mentally helpful to be like, I'm doing a detox and starting a new life. So if that's you, then maybe it might help you. I just don't think, um, physically it makes sense. Mentally it might make sense just to clear yourself of all evil <laughs> um, and think of it that way. I do understand that thought and I've done detoxes for that very reason, but I don't think physically it's that big a deal. I think you need to just detox in general your whole life. So just a nice slow detox and not so crazy, just healthy eating, cut out those bad things, and your body will detox naturally. Um, so that's what I have to say for detoxes. I highly, I don't believe in all those boxes. You know, I don't believe in fasting all the time, stuff like that. So that's just my two cents. Um, if detoxing works for you, that's cool to me. I, I believe it's more a mental thing than a physical thing. And I believe you can, you know, detoxing is important, but it doesn't have to be done in that traditional, you know, short period of time that people think of as a detox. I believe your body's detoxing when you're exercising and eating right in general. Um, so that's that. Next question, how do I make that jiggly fat go away here and lower abs and inner thigh? There's all these areas that a lot of women often ask me this. How do I get this to go away? How do I get this to go away? You know where your bra makes you look like you have some fat sticking over? How do I get my lower abs? Like everything's cool here, but my lower abs have this little pooch. How do I get my inner thigh tighter? So all these things, it's not gonna be an exercise really. I mean, exercising will tone you up, but a lot of the time it's either skin or fat. So you need to get rid of that fat. Getting rid of fat, in my mind, the best way to get rid of fat is to eat a clean diet. Eat a solid diet of vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and not too many calories, not too many 
bad things coming in there. So no cakes, no sugar, n none of that stuff, uh, minim minimally at least. So keep that down to a minimal and try and eat, you know, mostly healthy grains, uh, greens, lots of greens, lots of water, flushing that all out, um, lean protein, and, uh, you know, cut back on the high fat, high sugar, high white carb stuff, okay? So I believe that's diet, some of it's skin, some of it's being a woman, you're just gonna have, you know, a little bit of that. Most women do have uh, more fat in those areas than, um, than they want <laughs> or than men. So I mean, some of it is dealing with that, some of it is diet. Of course you can exercise. I don't believe there's like certain exercises. I'm not gonna sell you a magical exercise that's gonna get rid of this. Okay, sure, you can do push-ups, you can do flies, you can do chest exercises and stuff like that. Um, but if there's still a little bit of jiggle on the outside, like that's not gonna change. The muscle will just pop that out further. So that's not really gonna be the answer. I mean, that can tone a bit if you really think that's your problem, that you don't have any muscle there. Um, but in the end, it's, it's really fat and skin. So, you know, reduce your fat. And uh, also as we age, we get that more and more. I mean, I know myself, my skin is a little more saggy than it was when I was 20. So, I mean, some of it is aging, some of it is maybe a little extra fat, some of it is being a woman. It's hard to say. It might be muscle tone, but that's usually not not so much the case on most people. But you can try. I mean, it's going to it's going to be a good thing to get some weights in there. And that leads me to my third question. Third question is all about that and I have good things to say about weights now, definitely. Um as you guys probably know, I love weights. I love weight training. It's like my favorite thing and it's changed the look of my body. Not those little things, but bigger things like my butt, my thighs, it's changed the shape of everything. Um, so my next question is, people say, I just wanna lose weight. Why do I have to do weights? Why don't I just you know, do cardio all the time, only cardio? Um, so first of all, if you wanna lose weight, the biggest thing to me, and I know people don't wanna hear this because it's the kind of the harder part usually for people, is eating clean, as I just discussed. So make sure you're eating clean, first of all. Number one, eat a great diet, eat really well. No sugar, no start, white starches, no, none of that, no bad fats, none of that stuff. Um, maybe get a nutritionist to look at your eating or, or get some of my services. I do online meal plans and body transformations. Um, or if you know how to eat, then just eat right. <laughs> Easier said than done, I know. But um, eating is one of the biggest things for fat loss, okay? So not even thinking about exercise. Now, the other thing is people say, I don't want to get big and bulky, I just want to lose fat. Okay, first of all, weights on a woman will usually not make you big and bulky. Okay, so most women who are very large and muscular are either taking testosterone or other illegal drugs to become larger um, or, or working really hard and eating a ton, working out like crazy, lifting the heaviest weights possible. Like I know, I have tried to gain muscle. It is difficult for most women to get huge. Okay, so if you're lifting some 10 pound weights for bicep curls or even 20, you're probably not going to get to be, you know, a hulking she woman. Okay. So most women will not get huge from just normal weightlifting. Um, so, and on the other side of things, weightlifting will make you lose weight. It will make you appear way smaller. Okay. So, um, fat is, is all like that. Muscle is like tight and taut and little. It takes up less space. It's, it's very streamlined and awesome. So I never understand why people wouldn't want to get a little bit of muscle tone in there. I know women get scared of the word muscle, but think of it as toning. They like that word toning. Uh, it's all the same, but think of it that way if you're worried about large muscle. Uh, you won't get large muscle probably, and if you do, let me know how, because I'm all, always uh, I'm always interested in, in knowing how that happens, because usually it doesn't. I think people just have that in their head. Um, 
The other thing is more muscle burns fat, right? So the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll be burning all day. So cardio, you burn the calories while you're doing it. So for that 30 minutes that you're on the treadmill or elliptical, yes, you burn 200 calories or something like that. If you do that and then you also do weightlifting, all day you're burning calories. Those muscles are eating up calories. It takes calories to keep those muscles there. So I always want as much muscle as I possibly can get because then I can eat more, I can do less cardio and still stay really lean, okay? So it's really important to do weights. And if you don't know how to do weights, you need to just figure it out. So a lot of people are intimidated. I'm not gonna get too deep into this, but if you're intimidated by the weight room, just get someone to show you around, hire a personal trainer, even just once, just to figure it out. Read some books, you know, that's how I learned weight training. It was all from a book. It was from Body for Life. That was my very first introduction to, to hardcore weightlifting. I read Body for Life. Yes, Body for Life was the book that taught me everything about weightlifting. I didn't go to a personal trainer to start. I didn't, you know, go to anything like that. I, I was shy. I was introverted. I was awkward at the gym for sure. I did love the gym, but I was always on cardio equipment or running or doing a class. And then I read this book, Body for Life, and it changed my life, right? I mean, I learned all the exercises from it. I'd bring the book. I'd be a real nerd. Bring the book, put it in front of me, lift those weights, look at the diagrams. So, I mean, you can do that. You can look at YouTube clips. Now we have the internet, YouTube clips. You could hire someone. You could get a friend who knows what they're doing. So just get in there and do those weights. Do the weights, ladies and men. <laughs> um, they really will help you not only have an amazing sculpted, toned body, but also to lose that fat that you want to lose. It makes it way easier. If you're just doing cardio, you're not going to see that big a difference, trust me. Um, so really clean diet, cardio, and weight training, it's going to be amazing. So I hope uh, you enjoyed my three questions today, and make sure to leave your questions in the comments below, and I will get to everyone's questions and reply to you all on here. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe, 